Hey guys, thanks for tuning in again. Um, I thought for this video I would do like an everyday carry kind of thing, you know, like go through the things that I usually carry in my backpack. Um, I was just cleaning my backpack out. Um, it's gotten kind of messy. I actually I just got home from the office and on my way today I spilled coffee, so it really needed it. And I uh, took out the things I don't feel like I usually need and deciding to keep the things that I do. So the things that I usually carry in my backpack. Well, here, let me first show you my backpack. This is a really simple backpack. It has one big pocket with a laptop case and then the hood with like a pocket there. It's uh, Clutterworks, handmade in Bozeman. I've been really happy with this. I bought this. I can't think of the name of the store. Um, it's like a men's store on Lincoln in Venice. Uh, towards uh, Marina Del Rey from, like on the Marina Del Rey side of the hardware store in Lincoln. <laughs> I don't know if I'm giving good direction or not. But I bought this there and it's, uh, it's really cool. I really liked it. It has nice big metal buckles. Some of them are starting to rust a little bit, but I mean they still work. And then I, when I was in like 6th or 7th grade, my friend gave me a monogram, um, silver luggage tag <laughs> so I always have that on my backpack I only really have one backpack because you only need one I mean I have a like a big camping backpack but it's not really the same thing so what do I usually have in here oh uh, so I went on a, a day trip the other day to Martha's Vineyard and I brought herbs with me so I've been keeping this with me it's I'm just using the jar but I just made a mix in here it's like tokos and makuna reishi hoshiwu and astragalus I think what else? Mophie. I always, this is one of those things, like, it's a Kleenex, like, oh, do you have a Mophie? Uh, so it's battery pack, it has two USB things. When I bought this thing, it um, would charge my iPhone five, eight times. Um, it charges, you know, I haven't really paid attention since I got a Blackberry, but it charged my iPhone six plus by like three times. Yeah, plus, yeah, that's a big one. Uh, so these are really great. I like having the uh, USB ports because it gives you a couple options. Actually, I just got, I hope my aunt doesn't watch this, I got a, one for her for Christmas. Um, I think she's gonna like it. I got her a really, really big one and it has three ports so she can charge her iPod and her phone. And then maybe I can charge my phone too. So that's, I feel like that's a really handy thing to have. You never know when you're gonna need direction somewhere. Um, I always keep uh, my headphones, these headphones in my bag. Um, I don't know when you're going to get stuck somewhere and want to listen to music or if someone's going to call you. I don't like sitting on the phone holding this thing up to my ear forever. So I talk on the phone with these for long conversations. If I'm in the car, it like, comes through the radio, so that's easy. And then I uh, always keep a couple pens and pencils. I always have my keys. I can't... I, don't leave my apartment without my apartment keys because I have to lock the door. And uh, I almost always bring my car key because I never know where I'm going to need it. What else do we use? I always have my camera. So this my iPhone has a good camera. My Blackberry has like a decent, it's decent, but it's not good. So I have this little Leica C that I carry around with me for snapping pics. Um, I got it like a month ago and I, I love it. I really enjoy it. It's been... A lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to use. It seems really durable. I think I've gotten some good pictures. Having it has like, uh, I don't want to say inspired me, but has given me a reason like, I'll text my friends like, hey, do you want to go out somewhere and take pictures? That's what I do. So I always carry my wallet with me. My wallet's usually messy. I've got a bunch of cards, business cards. My Who Goes Juice Club card. My other Who Goes Juice Club card. A bunch of business cards. My license. It looks messier than it is. It's usually a bunch of business cards that look messy. And then just in case in my backpack, I always keep more business cards. And you never know when you're going to want to get like a coffee or something you're going to want sweet. So I got these little individual serving sizes of honey. I know it's kind of wasteful, these little individual packets. But they're really convenient. So I... I, apparently I only have one. I usually like to keep a couple in my backpack. I got that at Cambridge Naturals in, I guess it's Davis. And I always keep a piece of rope in my backpack. You never know when you're going to need some. Um, 
And it's also, I like just tying knots sometimes when I'm bored, just practice. Uh, it's fun. It says, you can, I got this, I, think, I went to EMS and they have it on a spool. And you just say like, I don't know, I got like a, a yard and a half or something. What else do I always carry? I've had this in my backpack forever and I bought like the thing and I just keep refilling it. I'm surprised this label has lasted long. This is just Urban Moonshine um, Maple Bitters, Digestive Bitters. A couple sprays sometimes, it uh, does the job. I like it. You don't even have to use it for digestive, just a little breath freshener. Sometimes people need that. You can see the video I did about that. Maybe that's what I should offer. I feel like most people aren't geared towards that kind of flavor profile though. Something else, I my mom gave me this like three years ago for Christmas and I always forget I have it because just it's never something I used. Um, waterless hand purifier, Thieves Waterless with uh, peppermint oil. I like the scent, but I just, I never think to use this. I don't know why. Oh, oh this smells mostly like peppermint. But on top of that, I just usually keep a bottle of Thieves in here. It's small enough, it can go through security, MOSTS agents, uh, don't think to look in your bag for liquids because if you don't put them on your bag, they assume you don't have them. So like when I go through security, I just, I don't take anything out of my bag and they're like, all right. So this is, uh, this is a good one to keep on hand, I think, especially if you're gonna go rob someone. Just kidding. And then I usually have my computer. I'm not gonna show you that because it's really a standard computer. So those are the things I like to carry. You never know when you're gonna need them. Oh, well, also, so this is probably something I use the most. That's why I thought it would even come to my knife. I like to carry a knife just because it's it comes in handy. Opening boxes, thwarting burglars. I, don't know. I lost it once and I was devastated. I had to go, this is, I don't know if I should say this on a YouTube video. This knife is actually illegal in Massachusetts. I had to go to Maine to buy it and then I lost it. And I was so upset. And then my friend found it under his sofa, which uh, was great. So, that's uh, pretty much it. Battery pack, headphones, camera, honey, rope, business cards, herbs. That's my, and a knife, my everyday carry in a nutshell. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Oh, actually, here's a little update, I guess. I just finished putting together a newsletter. <laughs> this is kind of funny. I thought it was funny anyway. I, when I started my website, everything I'm gonna have to be consistent with it that's just the biggest thing I'm gonna have to do it all the time so like before I even told anybody about my website I think I had like a month and a month or a month and a half's worth of stuff out like scheduled to just post regularly just because I didn't want to have to worry about it um, and I did the same thing with my email newsletter <laughs> but after going through all the like the monthly newsletter, I didn't have anybody sign up. And then finally after the last one, that's when everybody signed up. So since I've had a newsletter, nobody has, got, I'm the only one that's gotten it. Um, then a bunch of people signed up and now I'm back on the newsletter train. So if you wanna get my newsletters, you can sign up on my website. Um, I'll try and link to it in here. Uh, if not, it'll be in the box down below. I'm having some trouble editing my YouTube videos. It's, I'm having trouble on YouTube, like adding the annotations and those sorts of things. I'm also having a little trouble uh, uploading. I don't exactly know why someone said my internet is just really slow. That's, actually, I don't know what my internet speed is right now. Um, but it, they take forever to upload, and if the video is over like seven minutes, like this one is, uh, it might take a couple tries because there will be errors, and I can't do anything while I'm uploading it. I can't load another web page. I don't. Know. Well, we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll just have to upgrade my internet. Um, I guess there is one more update. Just because I, this is, I, every Monday I bring this up, everybody I see on Monday is gonna hear this. Monday night at the Four Seasons Bristol Cafe, it's International Bite Night from five to nine. So for $20, you get an entree and it's paired with a drink, um, either beer or wine. I, I, maybe they do a cocktail, I haven't had a cocktail there with it yet. Um, but it's been good. One time I was fish tacos, they made them without fish for me. They put tofu in. I enjoyed it, whatever. 
three pretty big tacos. It was good. And it came with a beer. The time before that, it was, I think it was a flat, yeah, flatbread. And it came with a $16 glass of wine. So $20, it was, it was a pizza, if you call it flatbread. It was a, an arugula and mushroom pizza with an egg on top. And it was a white sauce instead of a red sauce. And it came with a $16 glass of wine for 20 bucks. So you really can't beat it. The atmosphere is good. The uh, wait staff are very, very friendly. I mean, what do you expect? I've made a couple of friends there. So maybe I will see you there next Monday. I won't be there, actually, so another time in January, in the new year. Uh, thank you for watching.